All right, it's the end of winter, beginning of spring. This is the perfect time to um, prune our shrubs and plants that are going to flower on new wood this year. Uh, what I got behind me is a native Elysium parviflorum. Um, this is a great native species. Uh, it, it needs a little bit of shade in the winter. Um, it can get scalded by the sun. Uh, if you leave it out in full sun over the winter, it does pretty okay in the summertime as long as it's getting some water. Um, it'll stay green then. Um, but if you see them bleached, um, there is a, a variety called Florida Sunshine that is yellower, but that's that should look nice. If it looks like it's white bleached, that means it's getting too much sun in the winter. Um, these are doing great. Uh, in fact, this, this is just one little clump behind me and behind the camera, there's a whole bunch more. Um, the only issue is uh, what makes them great in the wild is that they can shoot out little runners and sucker and colonize. Um, but in a controlled landscape like this, where we're trying to keep them from taking over all of the adjacent things and strangling each other, um, we got to get in here and make a few cuts. So this branch right here actually belongs to the stem all the way back there. So that's where the kind of thing we want to do is remove those crossing. Uh, I, I know I'm going to take this one, so I am going to go ahead and do it. However, uh, I usually start at the bottom and work my way up because when we find crossing branches, we're going to take out the lower ones. But I'll go ahead and trace this one back all the way to its stem. Uh, and it looks like it's even broken before, and that might be part of the reason it's done that. And we're just going to take right outside of the collar of the stem there. Uh, and we take this whole thing out. And now that opens up, lets a lot more light in, and it's going to allow this silicium to get some new growth this year. Uh, so what we're going to do is start at the bottom, work our way all the way up, uh, and then we'll get you an after picture. Okay, we're back looking at the Elysium parviflorum after pruning. We started at the bottom and we worked our way up, taking out the major offenders that were crossing each other or were trying to escape. Uh, we kept some new root structures down there from little runners that were shooting up new stems. Uh, so we're going to have a nice little clump here, a nice little colony. Um, keen observers will notice that I did not take out every single crossing branch. The Elysium is pretty used to a little bit of wild growth, uh, so it doesn't have to be pruned quite as closely as say an azalea, um, which you want to make sure that you're removing anything that's crossing. Um, with these guys, they're pretty used to it. So we just want to take out the ones that might be trying to escape to another area. If there's already something there uh, in the wild, that would be great. We love these plants. Um, or in, in this case, um, because this one's bound by a wall, um, the top branches can go over the, the tops of the azaleas next to them. Um, but mostly we wanted to make sure that on these lower ends that they weren't um, preventing new growth on this clump itself, uh, because generating new growth every year is going to allow this plant to live longer and stay healthier.